Holding Each Other Accountable by Sister Linda Baez As believers, we should strengthen and encourage each other. The Lord created a helpmate for Adam. He intended people to help each other. Ecclesiastes 4, 9-10 This is the great lesson of accountability. Whether it's God or His Spirit that lives in us, or other people brought into our lives, we are meant to rely on the Lord in some form. You've probably heard the term accountability partner. I always associate it with addiction, recovery, or weight loss. An accountability partner keeps you upright, grounded, focused, and motivated. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Ephesians 2.10 We are reflections of God here on earth. The people in our lives should help us reflect him. Our accountability partners need to encourage good works, honesty, obedience, and love. So who do we turn to for accountability? God is the center of any and all accountability. We can always, always turn to him and rely on the Lord to help us be accountable. He can strengthen our ability to hold ourselves accountable, or he can provide someone for you. Depending on the situation, a spouse, a friend, an elder, an ordained teacher, a mentor are all examples of accountability partners. What do accountability partners do for each other? There are a variety of ways to help others or to be helped. Being prayer partners is one way. Study scripture together, share concerns and struggles, and be honest. Ask and answer thought-provoking questions to each other. Speak life, speak truth, speak from God's word. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever you do indeed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Colossians 3:16-17. Are you Paul or Timothy? My husband immediately thought of Paul and Timothy as an example of a mentor who was also an accountability partner. In 1 Timothy 4.16, Paul reminds Timothy to heed unto thyself and the doctrine. We might read about their relationship and think of ourselves as a Timothy figure, soaking up all the teachings of Paul, the mentor. But don't lose sight of the fact that maybe you are also someone's Paul. Who is looking to you? Your children? A new acquaintance? A co-worker? The lady at the coffee shop? Your parents? We must be able to be both. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 The beautiful plan of God, to create us in His image, to honor and glorify Him. He provides all we need to stand in need of to navigate this life. He knows what we need before we need it. He sees all and knows all. Don't be afraid to look to the Lord. Praise Him in all things. Don't hide from the Lord. Shine that light. This is my commandment that ye love one another as I have loved you. John 15, 12.